form of traditional Japanese clothing and how to wear one. The kimono itself dates back more than a thousand years. Sachi Uemoto Groves, a kimono teacher and owner of Anishi Japan, says it was considered a part of everyday attire up until recently. Before 200 years, all Japanese people wear kimono every single day. But now um, we don't wear kimono not often, only like special day, like wedding and then uh, 20 years anniversary. She says there are some key differences between women's kimonos. For example, the length of your sleeves can indicate your relationship status. Interesting, and they are so beautiful. Time ago, um, you know, still Japanese are very shy. We don't say I like you, I love you much. So a long time ago, people use this long sleeve to uh, I like you, I don't like you, something like that. You know, I have a jealous. Single boys can see who is a single, who married. Women's kimonos often have slits in the sleeves meant for breastfeeding, unlike men's kimonos. And there aren't many steadfast rules to wearing a kimono, but Uemoto Groves says one thing to always keep in mind is how the collar of your kimono looks. After uh, people who died, you know, passed out, their body wear their white kimono this side. So this is very important. Uemoto Groves says appreciating and practicing cultures doesn't have to be difficult. I'm wearing a traditional kimono with cowboy boots, cowboy hat. I'm enjoying traditional culture more casually. Please enjoy the culture. That's more important, I think.